Here I have a 2007 Honda Civic SI sedan with a K20Z3 motor um, having issues with the air conditioning. The air AC compressor is intermittently turning on and off. Um, one of the big problems here with these guys is the clutch. The AC clutch goes out of spec, starts wearing out, and it, it can't engage. So it stopped working yesterday for a long period of time, so I decided to check it out. So um, what you got to do is take off the fender. you got to take off your, your wheel, pull back your fender liner. I'm not going to get into all that. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory to get down there. Um, once you get down there, you have access to this guy. Right here, you got to take off that nut right there um, to remove it. But first, what you got to do is use your feeler gauges. See, like these way bigger than that largest tolerance that means the gap is too wide so what you got to do is take off that nut right there so what I did I use this wrench right here get on it and I put a pry bar right here one of these and these guys and I was able to break it loose so don't so I got it off Just had that on there just to show but now there's not enough room to pull the clutch off so I'm gonna have to rock the motor back and forth so what I'm doing now is taking off some motor mounts so I'll show you guys that here in a minute the next thing you gotta do is take this off with this upper torque mount that way the engine can move back and forth. I can rock it back and forth and pull out. Hopefully I can pull out that clutch AC clutch. It's raining over here so I gotta gotta work in between that. So I'm gonna show you guys the bottom here in a minute. Two bolts so we're gonna take take either this one or this one off so the, the engine can rock back and forth. Probably We'll see, but anyway, you gotta take that guy off, and then over here is your front mount. Gotta take this bolt off right here, that one right there. So when we take those off, they'll just be hanging by the two side mounts, and uh, and then we'll be able to rock the motor back and forth. And that guy should just drop right out. All right, so took this guy off. See the bolts out. It's got a nut, a nut on this side, and a bolt on that side. And now I'm going to pull this. I just got this guy out. And the motor should rock pretty easily. The motor should rock easily back and forth now. So now that I can do that, I'm going to go around and see if I can drop the AC clutch. Hey guys, so um, a couple things happened. It started raining. And then um, my, my uh, camera battery ran out. So I couldn't finish what I was showing you about taking this taking the clutch off of on the car so um, I have this is a b-series um, AC compressor that I had laying around it's seized that it won't it won't spin it must have gotten wet inside so um, but this still spins really so I can show you guys this would probably be a little better too and I can show you a little more detail exactly what I was talking about so you get your trusty impact zip that guy off All right do this a little more slowly but you know that's a 10 mil so just get your handy 10 mil I know everybody is always there's always lost and then when that happens this thing comes right out the clutch comes right out so boom and then in there these are the spacers that this is the spacer we're talking about so see so what I did I took this I took the larger shim out ah stupid thing I took the, I, I'm sorry, the smaller shim. I, I took the smaller shim out and I left the larger shim in. So all you do is just take that little washer out. Put that bad boy back in there. See, and this is your, this is the clutch. So that's what makes contact on here. It's a friction type of clutch with a electronic engagement. So it's a little tricky too. You just put that guy back on there line it back up boom 
And then you measure this gap right here. So there's a gap right there. So see that? You measure that gap to make sure that it's within tolerance. So in this case, it is not, but this is just a good example. But you measure that with your feeler gauge and see if it falls within the tolerance. So in, in, in with my car, with the, my, my FA5, my 07 FA5, taking out that small shim, the smaller one was enough. Because the, and and the and the gap was was uh, was cleared because what happens is the material I showed in there this gap opens up with time as it engages and disengages the clutch wears out and then this gap becomes too too great for the for the the real when it when it engages for it to overcome and close that gap so that's why you have to adjust it so um, that's what I did and it fixed the intermittent AC issue with, on my car um, and it's blowing good now and. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, you know, everything just put it back the way, the way it came off, and uh, you should be good to go. So, all right, guys. So hopefully that that helps you guys. Uh, you know, fix that clutch issue with your AC relay, and it gives you uh, with your AC compressor, and gives you some nice, cool air here during the hot summer. All right. So if you like this, more videos to come. Uh, I got some other projects brewing. These are just a couple I did. Uh, it's a couple of things I've been doing around here. I have some other big big plans. Uh, in the future so more content um, so anyway thanks a lot guys